Well, at the Missouri Botanical Garden, waiting for spring and those first blooms, kind of like waiting for Christmas morning for me. Kind of. Kind of like that. Kind of. Fox News' John Persborn live there this morning where they're getting ready for a new season and some pretty big events coming up. Perts. Well, they've got so much going on at the garden. In fact, starting last Monday, they're now open on Mondays. So that's something to look forward to. Another thing, in about two weeks, the big Chinese culture festival gets underway. And I've got Abby Driver joining me right now. Abby even speaks Chinese. <laughs> Shishi. Ah, oh, thank you so much. Hello. Welcome, John. Thanks for coming. Yeah, so this is uh, coming up on the 22nd and 23rd. Yes, of April. Yep, this month. It's going to be 9 to 5 both days. Come out with the whole family. We've got things for all ages. We have food. We have art dancing, music, the whole thing. I hear you have an acrobatic expert who's coming in from New York City as well. Yes, her name is Lena. She actually did come last year for the first time and she was such a huge hit that we've had her back this year and she's really excited and we're really excited. She does plate spinning, umbrella kicking. It's incredible. It's, it's, like, really cool. it's like the old Ed Sullivan show. Yeah, so this is the Chinese garden. How big is this garden? You know, it's actually pretty small. It's one of our smaller gardens uh, on grounds, but it's gorgeous. It's just one circle all the way around, but from the rocks to the architecture and the plants, everything has a purpose and it's so beautiful. And so when the Chinese festival begins, the culture festival, that's throughout the garden? Yes, we have things everywhere. In the Chinese garden, we have some folk music demonstrations. There will be some Tai Chi activities in here. It's gonna be really fun. All right, and what is the cost to get in? Um, it's around $16 for non-members. All of the prices can be found on our websites, um, but children can get in free under 13, and everything else can be found at mobot.org. Well, so things are going to really start hustling and bustling around here in the two weeks leading up to that as they get ready for it. How many people are you expecting to come? Uh, if we have great weather, which we're hoping for, we'll probably have about 10,000 for the whole weekend. All right, we'll look for that on April 22nd and 23rd. I'm going to stick around here with Abby. We're going to meet some other people. And uh, in our next hour, we're going to go to the Children's Garden and also to the Tower Grove House, already open. So already things are going on at the garden. We just need it to be a little bit warmer. And Angela Huddy said that is coming this weekend. Reporting live from the Missouri Botanical Garden, I'm John Pertzborn. Let's go back to you guys.